Hey everyone, we're going to the first round of a Kaladesh draft. And I have to move this around again for some reason. Uh, how do I feel about this hand? That's a good question. We didn't get any of our tons of three drops or two drops. We have one way of interacting early. It's kind of a slow hand, but I think I probably still keep it since we do have, you know, at least a nice mix of spells and lands. We'll, we'll probably be okay. We can probably kill some early creature and then find a way to just play some dudes. Yeah, there's an early creature we can kill. I'm not going to kill it right away because I want to see if he plays another X1 so I can get a 2 for 1. Kind of doubt he does. He's probably going to play like a Renegade Freighter. <laughs> Luckily, in response to that, we can still kill the Fanatic. Oh, except for that I played a land, the wrong land, so, <laughs> oh, that was bad, okay, all right, Renegade Freighter, no, but that's also bad, the only good news is we don't have, like, any land, we don't have anything to do in turn three anyway, but, yeah, it still makes me not casting my Pyro Helix look pretty bad, and this can hit us, this is going to hit us for eight in the meantime, we can gain some life back later at least, but, man, Probably going to draw a 3-drop, which will really punish me. No, we didn't. So I don't feel quite as punished. Uh, yeah, we'll just end our turn. Not off to a great start, but we can play our Daredevil and then get it back with Fleet Wheel Cruiser, which is something. Okay, well, that's not an X1, unfortunately. We could kill it instead, but... Oh yeah, the extra energy is not so good for us. That's the main problem there. For us. So, we'll do this. He may have built the smash, but we wouldn't be able to kill that anyway, even if even if he didn't. So we'll go to 8 here. The good news is we can play our Daredevil. So if he doesn't have removal, we can use it to trade, then play Ambitious Aetherborn, get the Servo, and get back our Daredevil. Opponents in the same colors as us, but it seems like their deck is more aggressive than ours for sure. Oh, he just wants more energy. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay. Yeah, that Lot New Hellion is is a beast. Okay, well I think we still play the Daredevil. It can actually just trade for the thing. Of course, if he has a removal spell, we're not going to be thrilled. But then at least you can play the Aetherborn, get a Servo, get this back, and sort of start trying to uh, stabilize. We've still got a lot of action in our hands, so it is possible. Yeah, so we're going to block the Lot New Hellion here, obviously. Yeah, he decided to use that energy, so I think he's conceded the fact that I'm going to block that with my Lot New Hellion. I mean, my Oval Chase Daredevil. Alright, well, we might get there. Opponent running out of gas, and we're about to to gas up. So, going to play the Ambitious Aetherborn, going to go with the Servo, so we get back our 4-2. Comes back to our hand. Alright. We can even gain some life at one point or another. But we did have to endure a frightening onslaught of an early Lot New Hellion we couldn't kill for turns and turns. So we're not in great shape. Um, all right. Well, I am going to block here. I don't think we really have a whole lot of choice. Um, I think I'll block the Gremlins because they have the potential to do a lot more work. Built to smash or something would suck, but uh, yeah, there it is. But it's not the end of the world. That much is clear. Um, okay. Do we play the Daredevil again? Probably, since I can get it back one more time. Yeah, we'll play our Daredevil. Continue to not attack. I 
think I probably just have to block both of these things. It's kind of how, it's kind of how I'm feeling here. Yeah, we're still opponent keeps drawing gas, man. Come on, blank on one of those draws. So we're probably gonna trade with the thriving rats here. He decided not to use that energy. Interestingly, um, yeah, I think we still trade with the rats. Let me throw the servo in front of this. There's too much built to smash in this world. Okay. Um, well, we can play two blockers who do a good job blocking, so I think we just do that now. All right. <clears throat> now opponent is drawing more gas for certain. We're at the point, well, if we draw one more land, we can play Feet Will Cruiser, get back Oval Chase, and play it. Unfortunately, we're not really in a situation where we're going to be, like, swinging with Fleet Will Cruiser is the bad news. He's just going to continue to bring the Thunder, and we have to continue to block, so it's not a bad plan, especially after he just restocked his hand. So yeah, I block there with the gremlins and here with the infiltrator. We still have our tidy conclusion too to use on something. So gremlins, infiltrator. Built the smash. No. Okay, well, I'm lucky he did not have uh, a, a, an artifact. He's probably holding on to that in hopes he would get one to help finish me off. Okay. All right, well, I'll take it. We're going to go Renegade Freighter. Get back Oval Chase. Play Oval Chase. Oval Chase has been the star here for sure. <laughs> As we continue to try to survive here, <laughs> get to a point where bad news is Ugh, another unlicensed disintegration. It's obnoxious. I'm glad he doesn't have an artifact in play, though. We do have to block his Thriving Grubs, though, with our Renegade Freighter, so... Okay, no attacks. Works for me. Well... We're gonna do this again. Fleet Wheel. Do I attack with Fleet Wheel? I might. I probably do. Yeah, this is... The grindiness of Oval Chase Daredevil is the only reason we're still alive. And so maybe eventually we can stabilize. But we do gain two life off of a tidy conclusion right now, too, which isn't irrelevant, I don't think. So, yeah, we're going to attack with the Fleet Wheel because it doesn't really matter. I feel like, uh, one way or another, we're just gonna, we still have the freighter if we want to block with that instead of our daredevil. We probably still block with daredevil, even though we don't quite have, um, another artifact at this point. All right. I wonder if he regrets using that die young early. Although, it still feels pretty bad to use one on an oval chase daredevil.
It's traded for so many cards. It's kind of outrageous. Oh. Has our opponent, like, had a turn where they couldn't play a spell yet? I feel like that should have happened by now. Probably should have happened to us, too, though, to be fair. Okay. Well, it is another blocker. We have Tidy Conclusion ready to go, should it be necessary. Um, hmm. No, I don't attack. I mean, no. Nope. If this had two power, I'd probably think about it, but we can't really afford to. Oh, look. I think they finally didn't draw a spell. We'll do that too now, probably. Oh, nope. Uh, we are going to help him scry, which is an ideal. But this can also crew Renegade Freighter. So that part... Uh, it is another artifact, though. <laughs> we could sort of slow roll it, I guess. But nah. Nah. We don't want to do that. We'll play our Eager Construct here. Drop our opponent to 11. We're going to scry. We don't want that land. And we are going to... Which of you do I want to crew more? Honestly, I think the freighter. <laughs> the Fleetwell Cruiser is better the turn it comes into play. But after that, Renegade Freighter is actually probably just better. We can also, if we want to be, if if we want to be really aggressive here, if he assigns one blocker, which I don't think he will, we could. Um... Ooh, he's just taking it. Nice. Well, I think we're in really great shape here now. Um, between two vehicles with trample and tidy conclusion, it's pretty hard for opponent not to die. He could draw what he needs here, but. Oh yeah. That was that was interesting. We were getting pounded early, but Oval Chase Daredevil really did it. Really got there for us. We were kind of lucky in drawing like a ton of like a ton of ways to protect um, our uh, to get back or Oval Chase Daredevil. So this is a matchup where Pyro Helix looked pretty good. Um, what do I cut for it though? That's the question. Could cut like a higher curve dude, but this guy actually was played a huge role in saving us between being able to block two things and giving me an artifact to get back my... Uh, we could cut like Fortuitous Find, another one of our like grindy cards that can get us value in the later part of the game. Yeah, but I think I do. I think I will cut it for a second Helix. It just seems like it can at least get one for ones pretty frequently and sometimes get two for ones. We saw a lot of X1s, so... Okay, this is actually a better hand than we had last time, I think. We just, again, have an early removal spell should we need to use it. Um, and this one can definitely take down more things, like a Salivating Gremlins or whatever. Uh, and then we have some early aggro. See, now, though, I would like Pyro Helix a little more, but what are you going to do? Ugh. I think our deck had no two drops. We did play one eventually in the last game. We're just going to take this. I don't really want to use Harness Lightning on it. I mean, I do get to save two energy, I guess, which is relevant, but we're just going to take the three here. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Probably just going to have to play a card that'll trade. Much like we did in the last game. Um, I'll play Spire Side Infiltrator and in my turn. Spontaneous Artist. Yeah. Opponent getting in a very aggressive start here. Did last time too, but we also had Oval Chase Daredevil, and this time we don't have that. 
So if he puts energy on this, I probably block it. Um, I'm probably going to block one of them anyway, but definitely if he put energy on that one. The fact he didn't use this energy should be a little bit disconcerting for me. I may just use Harness Lightning on that so he can't give anything haste. Okay, well, we are just going to block one of them. Okay, well, now we have two removal spells. Um, do you think I'm going to just use Harness Lightning on that? Because it just seems so likely he's got something else with haste ready to come. We could instead just play a dude. Uh, and next turn I can Harness Lightning and play another dude. Which doesn't seem too bad. Um, yeah, okay, I guess I'll play a dude. Going to take a beating this turn, but we have the means to clean up. So, see what our opponent plays here. I can use the gremlins to trade for his grubs. Holding on to the weld fast monitor... In hopes of drawing Oval Chase Daredevil again. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I'll have to play it eventually. It makes Welding Sparks better, too. All right. What do we have here? If it's like Unlicensed Disintegration, that'll hurt pretty badly. We'll also have the mana to cast both our removal spells next turn, if, if that's what we'd rather do. All right, he's living fast. Okay, well now we're not going to be able to trade with Thriving Grubs, so that was that was pretty good by our opponent. Now I have no incentive to block, really. So, probably you'd want to attack with his artist. Yeah, I may just leave up both removal spells here. Hmm. Although I still think playing Dude and leaving up mana for Harness Lightning is probably at least a little bit better. Yeah. That's what we'll do. Question is, do we swing here with our 4-3? And be confident we can trade and then kill with Harness Lightning? Yeah, I think I am going to swing. It's pretty aggressive, but... Hmm. Yeah, Live Fast is pretty good in his deck since he has thriving things and spontaneous things. It's not the most aggressive card usually. Yeah, that's that's something I was concerned about. Oh, another creature. Not really what I wanted to see. Uh, I'm probably going to kill... I should have done it already. I should have done it in response. I should have killed the Spontaneous Artist. That was bad. So we're not going to die this turn like our opponent probably thinks we're going to. Uh, but we're going to get close. But we may manage to stabilize again on the strength of our removal. Yeah, we're going to kill this. We're going to go four. Hello, speaking of the strength of our removal. <laughs> well. Die Young's pretty good right there. And we've still got Welding Sparks. We're going to end our turn. Kind of have to use Welding Sparks on this Spontaneous Artist, unfortunately enough for us. 
So that's what we'll be doing. He may have built a smash, but at least we'll make him use it, and then we can block still with my gremlins. No, no, no smashing. All right, thriving rats. Wow, we are drawing pretty well. Just the fact that we keep drawing anything, really, um, instead of drawing lands has been pretty good. So we're trying again to stabilize at a single digit, low single digit life total here. Um, and it looks like we've bought ourselves some time. Oh, how nice is that? Uh, yeah, I think we just use it here and we go on the offensive, surprisingly. We've drawn super well. I'm not going to lie. Like we've just drawn like removal spells that are relevant on the board and every, every time. We do have two helixes in our deck now, but still. So, yeah, let's get in there. We know we have some haste, but I think I'm okay with that. Like Now if we can draw our fleet wheel cruiser, that would be so awesome. If, if you're going to give us something, deck, give us that. Oval Chase, Oval Chase Daredevil wouldn't be bad either. Mm -hmm. Is his hand filled with lands? Wow, we are we are lucky fellas. Okay, well now, now we're drawing lands too at least, but... We have a board presence and our opponent doesn't, so we're still definitely at the advantage here. He could have a kill spell, and he's just like, God, I don't want to use it on either of these creatures when I know he has vehicles that will destroy me. And he doesn't have to yet. We're just going to hold on to these lands like our opponent seems to be doing. Bluff up, bluff away. So... God, did you draw another land? I feel kind of bad if you did. I mean, I've had this. This format, I've probably mentioned in other draft videos, has been like one of my unluckiest. I've had lots of games where, you know, the kind of games where you just don't get to play Magic, where you either draw all lands or no lands or have to mulligan to four because all your hands either had no lands or all lands. Um, ooh. <laughs> well, yeah, we're, we're being very lucky this game. though. I've had a few... Uh, drafts where I was stupid lucky, and hopefully this will be one of those. But that's that's really what a lot of this is right now, is like that we're just stupid lucky. And our opponent, well, we're not only lucky, but also, I mean, and I guess we can also call it our own luck, but our opponent also has whiffed on like every top deck he's drawn, um, much like I have in the past. And some drafts I've even recorded because the, the draft deck came together so well, but some drafts, I'm sure you saw, I think the very first draft video I, I recorded was, had incredibly bad luck. Okay, well, he did kill the Oval Chase Daredevil. So one of the cards he was holding was removal. Okay, yeah, that's that's bad. When you're at four life, that's not really what you want to see. I wouldn't mind an artifact or an, our other pyro helix right here. Either one would work for me. I wonder if he's going to go with... He is going with 4-2. Because that can kill me in one hit, so that makes sense. Artifact. Come on. My luck may have dried up now. <laughs> but our luck is the only reason we were competitive in this game, even if we lose game two here. Because our opponent had a blistering start. Wow. Well, as I said, my luck seems to be pretty stupid right now and i'm sure my opponent is about to like be very angry and i've definitely been there uh <laughs> so i feel bad and he's probably going to be salty eventually and say something about it although he might not i never say anything to my opponent when it happens i mean it happens to everybody unfortunately so we got him down to two we could have attacked and then used pyro helix potentially i guess but Okay, looks like he got more gas, though. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Well, we're in trouble now. That that can just outright kill us. We have to draw. <laughs> if we're going to keep being lucky right now, what we need is a removal spell. I guess even just drawing an artifact can be pretty good for us because it'll make... Get back Daredevil. It'll make him have to block this. But we may... The wonder may be our end. Probably should have just attacked last time and then used Pyro Helix to kill him if he decided to just take. I don't know if he would have taken, though. Yeah, 
Yeah, now the wonder kills us. <laughs> All right, well, that's the only reason we were competitive in that game was luck. So our opponent, who had very bad luck most of that game, drew what he needed to there at the end. Uh, yeah, I don't think we change anything. Yeah, we should have drawn this. <laughs> that would have been the ultimate lucky draw, I guess. Would have just won us the game outright. Okay. All right. Yeah, I think I still want the two helixes. They proved to be good. Don't think I want a second die young. I don't like sorcery speed being... It's a little clunky. All right. I would like to play first. Oh, oh here we go. So here's the start of one of these mulligan chains that happens to me sometimes. No lands. Sweet cards, <laughs> but no lands. And this one's actually pretty reasonable. I'll keep it. And, yeah, I'll take that too. I can cast it. Gives me some more early game. We actually have a two drop this game. We'll actually have options. We'll probably play our rats though. I think. Um, I think that'll be our plan. I mean, I guess it depends what our opponent does, but the rats have the potential to get in for some more early damage. If our deck could have just done some early damage in that last game, we would have gotten there, so... Yeah, we'll play our rats. Rats into infiltrator is actually pretty nice way to start a game, like in terms of aggression. The grubs is a little better, but it looks like we're going to get in with the rats, so see if he kills it one way or another. Yeah, and then we're going to play Infiltrator. God, I wish I had Renegade Freighter. Is our opponent the one with a slow start this time? Probably not. He's probably trying to decide what three drop he wants to play. Nope. That is a slow start. Did draw him some cards, but he's about to take six. And go to 10, which I don't mind. I guess they discard something too, which I also don't mind a whole lot. Wow, that was that's good. So, the POW. Wish we had more energy, but we don't. Our deck's not especially good at it. Our opponent seems like he got like three Thriving Rats and three, um... Three thri Thriving Rats and three, uh, Thriving, uh, Grubs. We have like one of each, so... <laughs> I guess I was Multiform Wonder. He was just like a win condition on his own when it comes to energy. All right, doesn't concern me too much. I wonder if he goes with the servo here to stem the tide. Yeah, he does. Concerns me a little, but he can only kill one infiltrator. I think we just keep pushing our advantage here. And he still takes one from one of them. So he's still going to take five this turn. Well, he can block. He can use the servo to block something if he wants to, I guess. But yeah, no, he's not going to. So he is going to go to three here, which is dangerous territory. I wish I had way more artifacts because chances are we're not going to get to do that much. But this just does one if I tap it. So he may have tidy conclusion, which will gain him one life right now. Thriving grubs. Okay. Ooh. Freighter, huh? Um, hmm. Do I just attack with everything and drop him to two? He only has one good block he can make. This is assuming, of course, he doesn't have the trick. Uh, we haven't seen it yet, but he could have it. If he has the trick, he can kill two of my creatures, which I don't love. It's probably just going to be better to play the to like attack with the rats and the fire weaver here and play the freighter and just start crewing it 
Like, I can crew it this turn and not even attack, obviously, just to do one damage. Oh, wait a second. The freighter itself will do one, then they'll take another one. So it'll do one from the fire weaver. One when my infiltrator crews it. Now nah, that's not enough. So we're going to play the freighter. Drops our opponent to two. I'm just worried he has Rush of Vitality, and we don't really need to press our advantage any harder because all we have to do is untap next turn. Uh, you know, because we just crew Renegade Freighter and then crew it again. Um, but I think I am. I guess I'll attack with the Fire Weaver and the Rats and see what our opponent can do about that. Because even if he just takes one here, he's just dead to me crewing my Renegade Freighter. So This time we actually got the aggressive start. Feels strange after those first two matches where we were, felt more like a control deck. So yeah, Rush of Vitality will gain him enough life that he won't be dead like immediately. But he'll still be in some trouble. If he, like I said, if he even takes just one damage here, like if he decides to double block this, he's just dead to me crewing Renegade Freighter. So, he has a difficult choice, I guess. If he has Rush, it's not that difficult. He can block my Thriving Rats. Actually, he might even want to block this as low as his life is, I guess. But block one of them, use Rush of Vitality, which will gain him three life, and kill whichever creature. So... Definitely, it's a strong trick. If he doesn't have Rush, then he doesn't have any good choices, really. Aside from blocking both of these and losing both of his creatures. So that's why I decided to sort of hang back, because I just feel like too many things can go wrong if he has Rush of Vitality. Like, and killing my Infiltrator would take away my reach. I mean... It's po I mean, if he didn't have any way to block or anything, of course, this would have been lethal. But I feel, given our position, it was better to, to take the more conservative route. Especially because this puts him in a really hard place anyway, unless he has Rush. And he does seem to be tanking a lot here. <laughs> Which might mean he has Rush. Could also mean he's just trying to find a way to not have to lose both of his creatures here. I don't know. Could also mean he rage quit. <laughs> so I think I'm going to pause and see if our opponent comes back. Aha! So it's Subtle Strike, which works pretty well. So attacking with everything would have won us the game there, if all he had was Subtle Strike anyway. Trades here? No. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. wonder why. <laughs> I guess he wants to keep his grubs really badly, but blocking here and trading with that and just bouncing his servo off of that just seems better. I guess, well, I guess he really wanted to kill the Fire Weaver. So. Which had the potential to kill him, but we can just kill him with what we got going on. So we can just drop him to one at the end of his turn and then kill him, provided he doesn't gain life or something. We're just going to take anything he does here. Yeah. All right. So he may have a way to kill my freighter, but if he has to tap out to do that, he's still pretty much, he is still just dead as long as my infiltrator just taps itself. So our opponent goes to one. Renegade Freighter. He does have the kill spell for it, but like I said, all we have to do is just tap our Spire Side Infiltrator here. Yeah. So it might have actually been better to kill the Infiltrator. Although I guess he would have just been dead to Renegade Freighter then. All right. Well, we won our first match. Hopefully we can win a couple more. So thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.